Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're doing your workout. Uh, excited to have you. My name is Rebecca. I am a coach at Zeal, and today we're going to be doing upper body and balance. Now, if you haven't already done one of the warm up videos, please pause this, go and do that warm up, and come back so that you're nice and limber and ready to go. And if you've already done it, then let's get started. Right, I will share the screen. So the way that this works is there's going to be three series of exercises. The first two series we'll do three times, and the last series we will do twice. Um, these series involve exercising for 40 seconds each, and you will need some weights or some bands to do most of these. So. Uh, I will go through it and you can always pause the video if you need to grab a different piece of equipment or if you want to grab some water or just get some air. So let's get started. This first series we're going to be going through um, floor chest press, alternating which arm is at the top or we're going to do a banded press on the chair. So you'll be seated at the edge of your chair with your back leaned back, doing that same kind of movement. From there, we'll be moving into a heavy carry in line walk. So you'll need a bag that's decently durable that you can put some weights into or just a heavier weight. With this, we'll be walking forward and backwards. If you're not feeling comfortable with that, you can always do the version on the right where you're swinging your leg out and walking forward and back. From there, we will be moving into airplanes to a hip open if you're doing the version on the left. Or you can do an airplane without the hip open as well. Those are great options. So that is going to be our first series. So for this first one, we will be doing that floor chest press. You can have a foam roller along your back. Um, along your spine. If you don't have one, that's totally okay. You can also do this on the floor. So we're going to get started in three, two, one, and go. So with this exercise, we really want to be thinking about keeping that one arm straight. The other arm will be going down and getting a good push up with that arm, um, making sure that you are exhaling on that push up and trying to keep your balance if you're on a foam roller. You're doing great. There's only 10 seconds left. Really remembering to breathe, making sure that we're pushing our weights just above our chest. Two, one, and time. You can pause this, but we'll be going into our heavy carry. So there's gonna be 40 seconds holding that bag or that weight away from your hips. You don't want it to be leaning against your side. You want it a little bit out because it'll increase the um, work that your core needs to do. And you're just getting a nice knee drive, really controlled, making sure you're slowing that pace down, just doing four or five steps forward, four or five steps back. Good work. In three, two, one, you can switch sides here. So whichever hand was holding that weight, you can switch to the other hand. If you are doing the version on the right, making sure that your toes are uh, touching your heels when you're walking forward and back, just to make it a little bit more difficult. You can focus on keeping your core engaged as well. I find that helps with balance work and it helps with this core exercise. So we've got less than 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll be moving into airplanes. So with this one, you don't need a weight. What we really want to focus on is getting that nice forward lean making sure our hips are parallel with the ground. Once your hips are parallel, you've kicked that leg back, you're going to use your glutes to bring you back up to standing. If you are doing that hip open, 
instead of using your glutes to bring you back immediately, you're just going to have a nice rotation of your torso and your hips. In three, two, one, you can switch legs here. If you found that that first round was a little too difficult, um, you can either do an airplane without the hip open, or you can also move into this um, chair backwards foot push. Totally up to you, making sure that you are keeping your back nice and flat and keeping that pacing nice and controlled. Good work. There's five seconds left, you got it. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome work. You can grab some water, grab some air, and pause the video if you want to do that. I'm gonna go right back in to the next set. So here's the second set of this first series. You'll be needing those weights or that band if you're doing the banded version on the right. So I'll get started in three, two, one, and go. Again, as with any of these exercises, really controlling our pacing here. It's really easy to let our arms just shoot down to the ground. We're gonna make sure we get that nice eccentric contraction, a nice push up. The same thing goes with the band. You really wanna resist that band. So it's going to want you to relax your arms. Don't let it happen. If you are doing the banded one, making sure your shoulders are down and back. If you find your neck is tightening, just move your jaw around. And that's time on that one. We'll be moving into that heavy carry. So again, grabbing that weight and making sure it's not touching your body. This is a really great core exercise and it's also a really good functional exercise because it is something you do anytime you go and get groceries or you are carrying a bag and just walking around. So I really love this one. <laughs> making sure that movement is nice and controlled. We're not going too fast with this one. You'll get more out of it if you slow down your pace and really get that good knee drive. Three, two, one, let's switch sides. <clears throat> Again, try to keep your gaze forward instead of tilting your neck down. Let's keep our gaze forward so that we're keeping our airway open. Good work. Engage that core, you got it. There's only 15 seconds left. You can do it. Nice work, nice controlled, slow movements, keeping that bag away from your hip. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome, you can let that bag get pushed to the side. We're gonna go into those airplanes. Ready and go. I really like to focus on the small muscles of my stance leg. So the stance leg is the foot that is on the ground. I focus on the small muscles in there and I focus on engaging my core to maintain my balance when I'm doing these exercises. Again, like with any of the exercises, we're really trying to keep that controlled movement. Our hips are parallel to the ground when we're swinging our leg back. In three, two, one, you can switch legs here. So keeping that control, making sure our hips are parallel to the ground. Finding a point of focus, like with any balance exercise, it will be a bit easier if you find something to focus on. Good work. Nice, getting a good knee drive on this one if you are doing that airplane still. Keep that core engaged, three, two, one. That's time, awesome work. Let's move into the third set. Again, always feel free to pause the videos whenever you need to grab some water and grab some air. 
to make sure that you are comfortable and hydrated. I'll be starting this third set of the first series in three, two, one. We're doing that floor chest press or that banded press with a chair. Again, remembering our breathing. Are we exhaling on that push up? Good work. You've got this. Making sure that we're keeping our dumbbells above our chest so they're not above our face or above our belly buttons. We wanna really make sure that we're keeping that good posture. And that is time, awesome. Moving into that heavy carry, grab that bag or that heavier weight. And we're going to make sure that it is not leaning against our body. Again, this is an incredible core workout. It's nice resistance. So just doing four or five steps backwards and forwards. Really thinking about keeping that core engaged keeping our posture upright so our shoulders are back and down, our sternum is towards the sky, and our gaze is focused forward. Good work. In three, two, one, you can switch arms here. So switch that bag or weight to the other arm. Getting a good knee drive, making sure that our pace is nice and slow. I'm sure you look great and you're working really hard. So keep it up. You've got it. Nice. We have only 15 seconds left. And then you don't have to do these ones until the next time you open up this video. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one and time. You can put down that weight. We're going to be going into those airplanes with a hip open or those regular airplanes with a knee drive. Every time I do this, I always focus on keeping my hips parallel to the ground. So you shouldn't get that rotation. Sorry, my dog is barking. Ron, please no. Um, <laughs> And you're using those glutes to bring you back up to that upright position. Really trying to keep your balance. Good work. You can switch sides here. Sorry about that. Nice. If you find that your balance is off from one side to the other, that's totally normal. We all have imbalances in our body. Just really push through, you can do it. You might um, find the hip openers hard. You can do the regular airplanes um, until you get comfortable doing the hip openers as well. But it's always good to challenge yourself. So keep that in mind. You only have five seconds left. Three, two, one, and that's time. Awesome work. That's the first series done. Next, we'll be doing that second series, but grab some water first. Take some deep breaths. You deserve it. This second series is going to be 40 seconds of each exercise, much like the first one. And this first exercise is going to be a dumbbell bent over row. Don't worry, I will be going over all three of these exercises. Um, so don't worry about rushing to grab your weights right now. So this first one will be a dumbbell bent over row. So you'll need two weights or you can do it with one weight at a time. And I can let you know the halfway mark. So with these, if you are doing both weights, you're going to keep your elbows close to your body close to your torso and you're going to drop one weight down, bring it up, drop the other weight down, bring it up. With both of these exercises, I really want to, I want the focus to be on squeezing your shoulder blades together. So keep that in mind. Awesome. The next exercise is a banded tricep extension. So if you have a band and you can stick it in a door jam or something like that, you can either do both legs, both 
arms, excuse me, or one arm at a time. If you don't have a band, you can do that seated skull crusher as well. After that will be a standing knee lift with an opposite bicep curl or a seated band bicep curl. So you can decide which one you would rather do. But I will get started with this dumbbell bench over row in three, two, one, let's go. So again, really focusing on squeezing our shoulder blades together, making sure you have a good hip hinge and your core is engaged. Good work. You can switch sides if you're doing one arm. Making sure our neck is in a nice neutral position as well. We don't want our chins touching our chests. Keeping your arms tight to your body. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome. Next is that banded tricep extension or seated skull crusher. So with this one, really focusing on using those triceps. So get a good contraction. If you are doing the single arm, you can switch arms here. Let's keep our shoulders back and down. If you need to reset your shoulders at any time, feel free. Good work. So our nice upright posture. Again, our neck is in a good neutral position. In three, two, one, that's time. Awesome. So you can grab two weights or grab a band to do the banded bicep curl or standing knee lift with an opposite bicep curl. So it, with this one, it's a really good balance exercise. Um, you should focus on keeping your shoulders back and down, that good posture. Making sure we have a slow controlled movement down and a nice fast pull up. You can switch sides in three, two, one. Switch sides here. Good work. Keeping our knee drive nice and high. Shoulders back and down. Again, if you find that your neck is tense and tight, you can open up your jaw, move it around a little bit and that should help. Good work. Three, two, one, and that is time awesome. So that is the second series. We'll be doing that two more times. And you can grab some water, grab some air, and I'm going to start on the next one. So you can pause and unpause as you like. So with this, dumbbell bent over row, really making sure we're getting a good squeeze in between those shoulder blades, keeping our knees nice and soft, so a little bend in them. If you are doing one arm, you can switch arms here. Good work. Getting nice breaths here. I like to pretend that I have a great in between my shoulder blades and I'm squeezing that grape to get some grape juice. Three, two, one, that's time. We're gonna move into that banded tricep extension or your seated skull crushers. So again, with this one, really focusing on using our triceps. Good work. If you need to switch sides, you can do so now. If you are doing the seated skull crushers, making sure that our elbows are closer together than you probably have them. <laughs> so we like to make sure that when our arms are fully extended, it is a straight line down from the ceiling to the ground. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Nice. We're into that standing knee lift with an opposing bicep curl. With both of these, we are focusing on that bicep, 
and we are focusing on maintaining our good posture. So our shoulders are back and down, our core is engaged. Remembering to breathe, you're doing great. Three, two, one, you can switch legs here. Nice work, a nice slow controlled movement down and up. Nice work. Keep it up, you've got this. Good work, less than 10 seconds, you can do it. Four, three, two, one, and that is time, awesome work. Um, I believe that was two sets. So we're gonna be doing one more set of those. Nice, so you can grab some water, grab some air, and we'll go into our last set of the second series. All right, ready and go. Making sure that we have that good hip hinge, our neck is nice and neutral. Keeping our elbows beside our torso. If you wanna switch sides, you can do that now. Getting a good squeeze in between those shoulder blades. Feel free to reset your shoulders at any time if you find that they are coming up to your ears. We wanna make sure we have that good hip hinge as well. Two, one, that's time. We're moving into those tricep extensions. So again, making sure that if you're doing the seated version, your elbows are closer together than you probably think they should be. You're creating a straight line from the ceiling down to the ground. If you are doing one arm at a time, you can switch sides. Getting a good squeeze, keeping that good upright posture. If you're doing the standing version, good work. There's five seconds left. Three, two, one, that's time, awesome. We'll be moving into the standing knee lift with an opposing bicep curl or that seated banded bicep curl. Keeping our core engaged with this one. You're doing great work. Our shoulders are back and down. Our neck is nice and neutral. Three, two, one, you can switch legs here. Good work. Nice and slow on the way down, a little bit faster on the way up for that bicep curl. We're resisting gravity or resisting that band when we're doing our eccentric contraction. You have five seconds left, you can do it. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome work. Next, we're gonna be moving into that third series, but grab some water, grab some air. Again, you deserve it. This is a hard workout and you're doing great. So with this third series, we'll be starting with plank up down. So that can be from your knees or your toes. Moving into a bow and arrow pull with a foam roller along your back. So you'll need a band for that one, or you can do a wall version as well. And then finally, lateral bear crawls or cowboy walks. If you are doing the cowboy walks, you'll need a band. If you're doing the lateral bear crawl, you will not. You will just need nerves of steel. So um, get ready for your plank up downs. Ready and go. So with these ones, like with any plank, you really want to focus on keeping your core and your glutes engaged. Making sure that your hips aren't swinging from side to side. You want to keep them nice and stable. Keep breathing. 
Good work. There's only five seconds left. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome. Next is that bow and arrow pull with a foam roller along your back if you have one. So with this, your arms are pointed up towards the ceiling. You're getting a nice pull down on that band. If you are doing the wall version, your arms are at about a 45 degree angle from the wall. And you're getting a nice pull, pulling that band towards your shoulder for either side of this video. Good work. I like to always focus on keeping my core engaged as well. You're doing excellent work. Three, two, one, that's time. Next, <laughs> lateral crawl. Uh, sorry, my dog is barking, but he's done. Okay, next is that lateral crawl. So with this one, you wanna make sure that your wrists are below your shoulders and your hips, your hips are above your knees. So your knees are not on the ground. You're in a sort of tabletop position and you're moving one arm and the opposite leg in the same direction and then the opposite arm with that other leg in that same direction and moving side to side. This is a really good one for engaging your core. Great, that's time. Let's do this one more time. And I'll focus more on the videos on the right. Again, you can grab some water if you'd like. I'm about to get started in three, two, one. Let's go. So the video on the right shows uh, Tessa doing the plank up downs with a chair. It's very much the same idea. You want to keep your core and your glutes engaged and it's just a forward and backward step. So you want your body to end up in that plank position with that chair. Good work. There's five seconds left. Three, two, one. Awesome. We're moving into that bow and arrow pull. So with that you will need that band. Your hands are pointed towards the ceiling if you are doing the floor version. For those of you leaned against the wall, your feet shouldn't be that far from the wall, but you should be leaning your back, your head, and your butt against that wall. Getting a really good pull, really focusing on using those muscles. Good work. There's 10 seconds left. You've got it. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome. Into those lateral bear crawls or cowboy walks. For those of you doing the cowboy walks, you're taking very small lateral steps, keeping your hands by your hips, your shoulders back and down, and your posture upright. You should really be feeling this on the side of your hips, and you should also be engaging your core for this one. I like to pretend that I'm like an action figure that's trying to walk around. Good work. In three, two, one, that's time. And that's the workout. Again, I apologize for um, my dog. <laughs> He's very lovely, but also very excitable. Uh, so thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure that you get some stretching in there. Make sure you're hydrating enough and I hope that you had a great time. See you later.